Hello traders and welcome to the Forex Market Open, May 13th, 2014. Thank you for visiting my website, tradingwithbill.com, and taking a look at my video, or if you've seen it on YouTube, thank you again. All right, traders, it is a beautiful, hot, warm, sunny, blue skies, white, hot beaches in Pattaya, Thailand, coming to you from, I don't know, I call it paradise. Traders, if you would, please let me introduce myself to you. My name is William K. Gilday, and yes, I am Bill from TradingWithBill.com. All right, so just to give you a little bit about myself, I've been a Forex trader from the year of 2006. I went full-time in 2008. After I came on vacation to Thailand and ended up staying, folks, and it's 2014, and I'm still here. It's been a great adventure, and it's been a great place to retire after 27 years in the fire rescue department in the lovely, lovely state of Florida. All right, that's just a little bit about myself, traders. Let's move over to the risk disclaimer. Forex trading has a large potential of rewards, but also a large potential of risk. You must be aware of the risks and be willing to accept them in order to invest in the Forex markets, i.e. money management. Do not trade with money you cannot afford to lose. Traders, if you are trading your mortgage money, not a good idea. You might want to sit back and rethink that idea and go to a demo account until you can trade the Forex markets financially comfortable. If you can trade financially comfortable, you will succeed much, much better in the Forex markets, or therefore any other markets that you might be trading in, in different instruments, such as options, stocks, indices, futures, oil, gold, anything that you might be trading. All right, traders, let me introduce you to my complimentary live trading room brought to you every trading day. That's it, traders, complimentary for you. Never trade alone again. Traders, I traded alone, and it is a bummer. Yes, not any fun trading alone, traders. It's a lonely, lonely job. So make trading enjoyable every day, and come and join us www.tradingwithbill.com give you all the information to get to my live trading room complimentary traders we hope to see you all there all right let's move on let's go to May 13th news events we have some news coming out in fact we have news coming out in about 45 minutes and that's gonna be the China industrial production at the time that I was doing this video and in the Eurozone we have the zoo economic sentiment and that is a medium impact news event. That is the only medium one on the chalkboard today. All the others are high impact. In the New York session, we have core retail sales month on month, and then we have retail sales month on month coming out in the New York session. Should be a bumper and a mover. All right, traders, what do you say? Let us go to the charts. We've got plenty of charts to look at today. All right, the first one I want to talk about is I want to talk about the Aussie dollar. This is the daily chart. And this was a absolutely beautiful bounce off that 200 exponential moving average, which is the green line on my chart. This is in an uptrend, giving us higher lows and higher highs. Absolutely great. The last three days we've been in indecision world. Indecision candle, indecision candle, indecision candle. And now we've it's started our news trading day and we are still in indecision. So I am still bullish, still bullish in this pair. I still want to take this up. I'm not, this is not a change of trend. We're not in a downtrend on the Aussie. I think one of the issues is, is that the Aussie is strong and now the dollar is strong. So we basically have strong against strong. So we need to keep an eye out on that. This is the one hour chart. Traders, I couldn't put a fib on here. I couldn't find a place to fib this. So if you take a look at this chart, you can see we have the Aussie dollar one hour chart. And I put a magenta trend line there. And basically what I'm looking for is a close above that trend line. And we will take this to the upside. You can see where I placed my stop with our red diamond. And you can see where I have the take profit with our powder blue circle. And I use those on all my charts, traders. So if you ever see those, you know what they are. They're stop and take profit areas. 
So we're basically looking at R2 for a stop, and we're looking at, oh my gosh, S1. Above S1, we're going to look for um, a stop and R2 for take profit. So good stuff. Real simple trade plan. Above the trend line, close above it, and take it long. All right, traders, let's go to the 15-minute chart. Here is our 15-minute chart. Trade is really hard to come up with a trade plan on this one. I wasn't sure if I wanted to take a trade underneath that 200 exponential moving average and the daily pivot point sitting right there at where that arrow is. I wasn't sure I wanted to trade into that. That's a confluence area. That's a lot of resistance right there. So my trade plan is let price get above that and we could take that for the long. And that is basically what I'm looking for. You can see where the powder blue line is at all one. That would be our take profit area. And on the bottom of the chart, you can see the red diamond. That is our stop loss. But this has to do some work to get up there and, and uh, show its face. But again, traders, we have a situation here where we have strong against strong. And we know in trading, you do not want to be trading strong against strong. But that's what we have here. So maybe this isn't the pair to trade today. We'll have to see. Let's see what happens in the London Open. We're in the inactive zone right now. We're two hours or an hour and 53 minutes before the London Open right now as I'm doing this recording. So no reason to be jumping in and doing anything until the London Open and we get some really uh, serious commitment either from the Aussie or from the dollar. Traders, let's take a look at these three pair, the same pairs, but three different time frames on the daily, the one hour, and the 15 minute chart. Traders, I'd like to bring your attention to the bottom of the price chart, and you can see on all three of them, I am using NinjaTrader platform. Traders, I strongly suggest if you are going to trade Forex as a professional and as a sincere and serious trader, please look into trading on the NinjaTrader platform. There are a lot of options, some that you don't even have to pay for. Look into it, and I think you will find it being a pleasure to trade live off of the Ninja Trader platform as they support up to about a hundred brokers. So there's a good chance that your broker might give you this platform for free. All right, let's go over to our next currency pair, another interesting one, sort of up and down this week and last week, but let's take a look at what we have here. We do have the Euro Yen daily chart. Look at that support I put in there and the rejection off of it. So we had rejection yesterday and today. This popped down. That was due to the Draghi statement last Thursday where he basically said they're going to be printing more money for the Eurozone come in June and possibly a cut in their interest rates. All that not good news to the Eurozone. And remember, traders, they are pricing this in. The market took this really heavy. And for three days now, Thursday, Friday, and Monday, they have really pounded on this. So we need to watch this and see what we can do. However, I am still bullish and we'll just see what happens. But the other issue is, is that the yen turned its face yesterday and became weak. So later in the trading day, a little tricky on this one. Let's take a look at the one hour chart and take a look at my trade setup. Okay, here's the trade setup. Traders. You can see where when I put the magenta trend line, actually price came above it when I took the snapshot of the screen. So you can see that it's come above the magenta line and I'm looking to take this long with a close above that trend line on the hourly chart. You can see where my stop is below that, that's that red diamond. And you can see I'm looking for the R2 area as a take profit area. And what you know, I put that box in there, that rectangle box, and I have danger on top of it. The reason I have danger it's a confluence area, traders. We have a 200 exponential moving average being the green line. We have R2 right there, and price most likely is going to do something in that price area, and if you look left of the chart, we're at the 61.8 Fibonacci level at the same area. So we have a lot, and that Fib is on the, on the previous swing because we really don't have a swing yet, right? We don't have a higher high enough. 
we have a low, a low, two to the right and two to the left, but we don't have a high with two to the right and two to the left. So I had to go to the previous swing, and I fibbed that. And yeah, the 618 is right there on the left-hand side. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to take a look at that. But I'm definitely looking to get out of the trade by the time we hit that. That can turn around, hit that, and just come all the way back down and retest its originating starting point. All right, let's go one more to the euro yen on the 15-minute chart. This was another one, traders. Not easy to look at. Again, I'm looking for the pullback back to the 200 exponential moving average, which is the green line on my chart. You see the green arrow. You see the black arrow where I put where I'm looking for a bullish formation to go long. This has run away with us in the beginning of the Asia session, and there's nothing we can do. We just have to hang on and wait. This you know, might exceed its um, pips for today. We don't know. We'll have to see what happens. China news is coming out in about 70 minutes from now, and we're looking at that can affect the yen pair. So we'll have to take a look at that. Also, it could affect your Aussie pair. So remember to keep an eye on that. Okay, traders, this is the euro yen all three charts side by side if you take a look at that one hour and 15 minute is that not beautiful man it sure does show that that is in an uptrend so really really nice i like putting all three charts together it just puts a new touch touch to it doesn't it again traders this is brought to you on the ninja trader platform again i hope you take a look at it i think you enjoy your charts that is one thing about trading forex or any instrument you have to love your charts. We sit in front of them a long time. We use them a long time. You have to really enjoy trading on your charts. Traders, I would like to say thank you for joining me on another Forex Market Open. What you every day? Through tradingwithbill.com. And yes, traders, I am Bill. Thank you, and we will see you next time. Traders, have a safe day. And remember, trade safe and trade smart. Bye-bye.